April month was particularly eventful for the camera industry as a whole. We've got to see many new cameras, which we covered in our past videos. But there were many other news that we didn't get to cover properly. In this video, we'll talk about those to keep you updated about the camera industry. In May 2022, RED took legal action against Nikon, claiming that Nikon had violated its patents related to video compression. This was shortly after Nikon released a firmware 2.0 update for the Nikon Z9 camera, which included internal lossless video compression. RED's lawsuit was based on their patents and not on any existing technology. While Nikon had implemented a similar technology for recording raw videos internally, after a year, on April 25th, 2023, the two companies agreed to a Rule 41 dismissal without prejudice, effectively ending the lawsuit. This means that the two companies came to an agreement, but the details of the agreement have not been made public. Given the likely significant amount of money that both companies had already spent on legal representation, it's safe to assume that they concluded that reaching an agreement was better than proceeding with the lawsuit. It's possible that Nikon paid RED license fees or remuneration for the loss, but there's no public information to confirm this. As most of you know, DJI purchased a majority stake in Hasselblad a few years back. This acquisition led to DJI rebranding its drone cameras with the Hasselblad name, resulting in significant advancements in aerial camera technology. Now, Sources are indicating that DJI is planning to directly compete with Sony, Nikon, and Canon in the mirrorless camera market by launching their own DL mount mirrorless system camera range. This range will include cameras with APS-C and full-frame sensors. If everything goes according to plan, the range is expected to be introduced in Q1 or Q2 of 2024. In a recent interview at CP Plus 2023, the team from DP Review spoke with Canon about a wide range of topics. Canon appears to be easing its position a little on third-party lenses. Previously, it appeared that Canon was just cutting all third parties off. Now, it seems that Canon is not only hinting that it will license its mount technology, but specifically calls out Casina as an authorized third-party manufacturer able to make RF mount lenses so it looks like Canon is willing to license the tech after all. This means there's some hope that we'll actually see some of that Sigma DGDN art glass coming to the RF mount at some point. And on April 18th, 2023, the day when we came to know that Canon has opened their RF lens mount for third-party lens makers, Meek, a third-party lens maker, announced the first approved Meek AF 85mm f1.4 third-party AF lens for the Canon RF mount. So, this is the beginning of something good for every Canon fan. At the National Association of Broadcasters show, or NAB show, held in Las Vegas from April 16th to 19th, 2023, Fujifilm's Electronic Imaging and Optical Devices divisions received multiple awards across various categories. The products nominated for the awards had to be exhibited at the 2023 NAB show and available for delivery in 2023. Fujifilm won in the following categories of the Create Awards. Fujifilm X-H2, the first APS-C camera that enables 8K 30p Apple ProRes internal recording, offers advanced features such as the back-illuminated 40.2 megapixel X-Trans CMOS 5HR sensor and the high-speed X processor 5 in a user-friendly design. With the Frame.io camera to cloud integration for Fujifilm X-H2S and X-H2 cameras, users with the FTXH file transmitter accessory can use their paid Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions and an active internet connection to directly deliver still or video files to Frame.io from the camera. Duvo 25 to 1000 is a new lens category, a native PL mount box lens combining broadcast functionality with beautiful bokeh, delivering a cinematic look to live and scripted productions. Duvo 25 to 1000 features innovative optical design technology for a maximum aperture of f2.8 and a 40x zoom ratio. 
Netflix originally rejected the URSA Mini Pro 12K camera for its 4K original camera list. But the newly announced URSA Mini Pro 12K OLPF has now been approved by Netflix. The difference is the addition of an OLPF, which stands for Optical Low Pass Filter. With this new Ursa Mini Pro 12K OLPF, Blackmagic Design now has four cinema cameras approved by Netflix. The streaming giant has certain capture requirements for cameras to be considered for approval, including dynamic range, resolution, codec, and workflow compatibility. Additionally, 90% of a program's final runtime must be captured on approved cameras. It is interesting to note how the addition of a small accessory can change a camera's eligibility for Netflix approval. The design and output of the camera remain the same, and the new Blackmagic Ursa Pro 12K OLPF is priced at $6,385 for the body only. There is hope that the Pocket Series cameras will also be approved for the list. So this was all about the photography community this month. Did we miss any important news or updates? Share with us in the comments section below.